The third category of the access control clause is called user responsibilities, and is concerned with users being responsible for the security of their authentication information. This category has only one control, called use of secret authentication information. You can consider this control, as the control that sets general rules of how to safeguard your authentication information, such as usernames and passwords, access cards, and any other authentication tools that are being availed by the organization. General rules of protection include keeping authentication information secret, and not share it with anyone who is not authorized to have it, including friends, family members, and even authorities. Being careless with the information is also prohibited, such as writing credentials on a note lying on your desk, or keeping the information on an easily accessible unencrypted file on your computer. If the information has been compromised or is suspected to be so, then it must be changed immediately. It is worth going through the procedure of asking for information change, then taking the risk of access being stolen. Setting rules for new password creation should be made as secure as possible by the administrators, such as forcing the user to use special characters, or passwords above specific lengths, or even force the user to change the password every few months, without having the ability of choosing previously used passwords. It is highly not recommended to use the same authentication information for both personal and business purposes, as business controls are normally more secure, and the more likely compromise of personal information could lead to the compromise of business assets. To relieve the users from having to remember so many complex passwords, the company can use a single sign-on model, where the user only needs to authenticate once, to be granted correlated access to his permitted resources.